Hey there, I'm Sunali Singh, a 3D animator in games and welcome back to my Control Rig series. In this first installment of the series, I'll take you through a setup that you'll need to use a control rig in your project. So let's get started. Now control rig currently works as a plugin in UE4, so in order to use it, you have to enable the plugin for the project. If you're using the control rig mannequin project provided by Epic, the plugin is already enabled. And if you want to use control rig in your own projects, then make sure that the project is using 4.25 to utilize all the latest features that I'm going to mention in this video. Just to make sure, you can go to your project folder and right click on the .uproject file and open it using any text editor like a notepad. Here you can see that the parameter engine association is set to 4.25 as required. Now let's open this project and see how we can enable the plugin via editor. As we have the project open, we can go to edit and select plugins. Under the animation tab, enable the control rig plugin. And a warning prompt will appear as this plugin is still under beta. So you can just go ahead and click on yes. Then an editor restart is required for the changes to take place. So click on restart now and you're done. Let's move on to the next step and add some characters to a project. If you want to use the same character as me, then you can click the link in the description and that will take you to the marketplace page. Click here on free and then you'll see the download button. Click on it and it'll open the Epic Games launcher. Once the download is finished, you can add the character to your project. And once you do that, you'll see a folder named Paragon Drongo in the content browser of your project. You can find all the skeletal meshes under characters, heroes, Drongo. There are two folders, meshes and skins, which contain the skeletal mesh. If that's too much for you, then you can use the provided filters to make it quick. Just select the primary folder Paragon Drongo and click on filter and select skeletal mesh. There you go. Now you can see all the skeletal meshes at one place. If you want to use any other character, then just import it to your project and we are ready to go. With this done, our project setup is now complete with the character of our choice to start creating a control rig. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments below if you have any doubts regarding this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on new videos. In the next video, we'll see how to create a control rig blueprint and what are the various options available to us. Until the next time, see ya!